Now here's a special story from a special man who lives in Monticello. As you know, this is the longest running rivalry, Kentucky and Tennessee, the 227th time they will have met. But for one Kentuckian, he wanted to be a Wildcat, but he came up a volunteer and he bleeds nothing but orange. This is how most everyone knows Rodney Woods, the boys basketball coach at Wayne County High School. He's been wearing red and black as the Cardinals head coach since 1986, winning more than 900 games in his career. But when you go to his house, you step into an entirely different world of orange, big orange. Most everything in here was given to me. Uh, you know, every time I have a birthday, Christmas, whatever's going on, a gift of some kind, somebody gives me something with ten some type of Tennessee thing, and so I've just uh, stuck them up all over the place and kind of had fun with it. For his friends of another color, stepping into the Tennessee temple can be somewhat awkward and painful. Just sickening. Once you come down those steps, those orange and white steps, and see just all the orange everywhere, it's just it's like, Makes you want to puke, to tell you the truth. I mean, it's just, when you're a diehard blue fan, you see all this stinking orange, it's just like, ugh. Now there is some blue. And I've got the old, all the blue from my high school. Uh, we, were, we were blue, and, and our fight song was just like Kentucky's. Growing up in Bell County, Woods attended Lone Jack High School and was a scoring sensation with nearly 2,500 points. The close friend of former Wildcat Larry Percival and first cousin to another Wildcat, Bobby Slusher, Woods went to Tennessee instead. Tennessee staff, one of their th top three coaches, saw me play 17 consecutive games. And so we're just, we're sitting there one night and my dad looked at me and he said, I know how bad you want to play for Kentucky and that's where I want you to play also. He said, but you got to go where you're wanted the most because that's where you're going to get to play. When Woods was in Knoxville, he played Kentucky six times. And when that game rolled around, the kid from Four Mile, Kentucky, brought his best. I mean, I wanted to win that game. I wanted to win them all, but uh, I wanted to win that one probably more than others. The date was February 15th, 1975. On one side, in the orange, you had Bernard King and Ernie Grunfeld. In the Kentucky blue, great names like Kevin Grevy, Rick Roby, Jimmy Dan Connor, and a young Jack Givens. Both teams were on offensively, and it was a lot of fun, and and uh, just uh, really, really enjoyed it. But Coach, uh, he always had a he had a feel for when big things were going to happen. And that day, big things did happen. One of the greatest games in the history of Stokely Athletic Center. And Rodney Woods was on point. Dribble to the left side, reversing back to the right. 20-footer of the year by Woods. Good. Woods for Tennessee working on Connor. Gets a pick, drives in low, spins. 15-footer fall away. Good by Woods. Woods hitting. Got a nice screen from King. There's Woods working left. He'll come right, spinning. 15-footer of the year. Bottom. Big bucket wood. Tennessee leads by seven. When I played point guard, I played it as a basketball player. I didn't play it that I was there to just pass. King fakes across the zone to Woods. Free. 20-footer by Woods. Bottom. Great picking a part of the zone by Tennessee. Sashworth in the lane. Gets out of there. Shoots to Woods. 15-footer. Bottom. Woods hits for Tennessee from outside. And Woods line. kept shooting field. to end Woods the first the half. He'll take the shot. 23-footer in the air. Bottom! The thing about Tennessee that I don't think people realize that are that are outside of Knoxville, I don't think people realize how much those people like basketball. And on that February day in 75, Tennessee fans would storm the court and they would lift Rodney Woods onto their shoulders as he cut down the net. Cutting the nets down was kind of like today's uh, thing where people rush the court. It was about the same meaning. Point man Rodney Woods from Four Mile, Kentucky, is hoisted to the shoulders of his teammates and cuts down the net. The traditional ceremony culminating an exciting basketball victory. Tennessee beats Kentucky. Nearly 44 years after that win, the same net still holds its place in Rodney Woods' Temple of Tennessee memorabilia. The kid who grew up a Kentucky fan is the man who will always bleed orange. When I went there, I fell in love with the place, and as we say in Knoxville, you know, we call Vols for life, and I'm a, I'm a Vol for life.
Rodney Woods, one of the best men I have ever had a chance to interview. You heard the voice of John Ward, the voice of the Vols. Bottom from Rodney Woods in his jump shot. He had 14 points and 10 assists that day. The one thing that Rodney said was bittersweet. He never beat Kentucky at Lexington. But on the other hand, when he was the point man for the Vols, Kentucky never beat Tennessee in Knoxville.